Yo, what is good? What is good? What is good? Beautiful people. Of course, you know who I be. Good Doc, Dr. Mike TV back again, once again, with another instant classic, ladies and gentlemen. Sincerely hope you guys are blessed. Sincerely hope you guys are well. And if you are, let's bring it back. Magandang maga, magandang gabi, magandang kapan, which means good morning, good evening, and of course, good afternoon, depending on where you are in the world today. Guys, y'all make sure you get the likes up, make sure you subscribe to become well-versed in the good docs content, extracurricular activities. Check the link in the description area below for all of the unbeforeseen footage on Patreon to check out the podcast, man. I got the dating a Filipino one-on-one track listing over there that's actually not as bad as I thought it was. I kind of put it together and I was like really shocked about it. But it's free, guys. Go check me over at anchor.com or I'm on Spotify and all those other places too because your boy is Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> uh, and uh, ebooks, man, ebooks listed in the link in the description area below, guys. Great content over there. Hope you guys enjoy it, but make sure you check it out. Ah, <sighs> not all Filipinos are gold diggers. Not all Filipinos are gold diggers. Not all gold diggers are Filipina. Remember how back in I was taking philosophy, right? And you remember, if A is B, then B must be A, right? You ever heard that shit? Some of y'all, some of my psych majors are gonna remember this. Some of my philosoph or phil philosophy majors are gonna know this. If A is B, then B must be A. I don't know what that premise or standpoint was, but by saying that all Filipinas are gold diggers, all gold diggers must be Filipinas. You know what I'm saying? Not actually accurate. That is a false premise. Guys, Filipinas live in a third world country, ladies and gentlemen, for the most part. Does that give anybody an excuse? No. But when you come to the Philippines and you've been in the Philippines and you've seen the living conditions in the Philippines and some of the living conditions of the ladies in which you're choosing to talk to, you start to understand, well, damn, I kind of see why she might have been hitting me up for some money. I kind of see how she might have needed something in the moment because these situations suck. OK, I've been to the Philippines. I've lived there for quite a few years. I've known a lot of guys who have visited the Philippines and it just breaks your heart from time to time because of the level of poverty that is existing in the country. Shout out to my big brother HT. He did a live stream the other day where he was talking about how guys were comparing being broken poor in the U.S. to being broken poor in the Philippines and they just cannot compare like being broke and destitute in the United States comes nowhere near close to the level of poverty that you'll experience in the Philippines. So Coming from that knowledge and that mindset, you got to understand that most Filipinas are in survival mode. And when you understand that aspect, you'll never feel like you're taken advantage of. And I know that sounds a little bit weird. Again, Doc has got some weird talking points, but I'm going to just go ahead and lay them out. Maybe you feel me, maybe you don't. If you already understand the severity of the situation that most Filipinas are going through in the moment... The fact that they're going to ask you for money doesn't surprise you. But whether you say yes or no is dependent solely upon you. So you can't sit out there, run around and call Filipinas gold diggers unless you actually are the ones that are giving them money. And if you do give money, I'm hoping that you're giving it because you want to, not necessarily because you feel like you have to. And if you're only giving that money for something that is of fair exchange, I don't need to go into details about that. I pray I don't. Don't make me do it because I will not do it. There's nothing else that needs to be said. If you're giving it out the kindness of your heart, if you say, uh, I just ain't got it, so I ain't going to do it. Or if you believe in fair exchange. All right, you got this money, but I'm going to need this. Fair exchange. I'm not going to talk about that. Then it is what it is. Contracts, agreed upon agreements and all that good stuff. I feel like you can never really go out on a limb and call a Filipina gold digger, can you? I mean, I don't know if I'm speaking truth or I'm speaking out the side of my neck. You tell me in the comment section below. If you say, Doc, I don't know, there's a hole in the side of your neck and words are just coming out of it because I don't know what you talk about. Let me know in the comment section below. I just feel like you cannot call a Filipina gold digger. It is impossible. It is implicable. For all of my people who speak Spanish, I don't speak Spanish. That's the only word that I ever speak. And I don't even know if that's Spanish, but it's implacable. It is impossible to call a Filipino or any woman a gold digger if you already understand their circumstances. You got to know that somebody going to try to hit you up for the cash flow. It's normal. 
Unfortunately, I hate to say it, but this is normal, ladies and gentlemen. If you're dealing with women online or online girlfriends and stuff like that, expect it to happen, number one. Even if you're in the country, who knows how long it's going to take, but I promise you, on everything that I love, there is a high probability that there is a chance that a money talk is going to come up. Somebody going to need something. And if she asks you, you agree, you give it, bam. Give it under the assumption you'll never get it back and you'll be fine. Now, if they keep coming back, they keep coming back, they keep coming back, they keep coming back, they keep coming back. Even if you are aware of their situation, even if you do understand exactly what's going on, you still have the option to make the choice of whether you give or whether you don't give. Again, shout out to my man, Jay Black, American Expat, man. My man always talking about having options. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, you have an option <laughs> to say yes or to say no. So if you have that option, ladies and gentlemen, how can you call a Filipino gold digger? They're only gold digging only if you give it to them. How, they're only gold digging if you give them the gold, right? <laughs> maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but maybe I do. Maybe I might know a little something about something. And if I do and you feel me, drop a like on the video, man. Y'all make sure y'all stay blessed. Y'all make sure y'all stay true, man. I'm going to just keep it at that. I'm definitely interested to hear the dialogue on this one, family. This one should be interesting, all right? Y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed. With that being said, good doc is officially out. At least not go back alone, which means got to get to getting. I'm out. With that being said, good doc is officially out. At least not go back alone, which means I am going now. Goodbye. As always, love you guys. Got to make sure I remember my words. Mahakita. Mabuhai. Peace.